likely to see a solar eclipse that you will not see again until 2046. It's called the ring of fire because it's when the moon is in front of the sun. That creates a circle of light with darkness in the middle. NASA says it will be visible in all continental states, including Alaska. It'll start just after 9 a.m. on October 14th, last a few minutes in each location. If you're planning to watch, remember not to look up at the sun. Even during this phenomenon, you can get certified eclipse glasses. The eclipse glasses have special solar filters that um, get rid of any type of damaging rays so that your retina is protected against that harmful light. If you do damage your eyes, it's usually instantaneous, but people may not actually notice until up to an hour later. Signs of damage can include blind spots and diminished vision. This can resolve itself over time, but it can take months. On Saturday, October 14th, a show in the sky is expected to dazzle people across the country. The moon will pass between the Earth and the sun, creating what's called an annular solar eclipse. They're also known as a ring of fire eclipse. That's because it will happen when the moon is near its farthest point from the Earth. Because it's farther away, it will not block out the sun completely like when we had a total solar eclipse in 2017. What you will see is a bright ring of light when the eclipse is at its peak. You will have to travel to be in the path of the upcoming eclipse. The closest to western Washington the eclipse will be at its fullest will be across parts of southern Oregon. This map from NASA shows around 9.18 a.m. on the 14th, the eclipse will be at its height in places like Eugene and Klamath Falls. The path eventually takes it south over Texas before exiting the U.S. You will need special filters or glasses to watch the annular solar eclipse safely. That way you can see the ring of fire without damaging your eyes. Theron's on Como News.